So I'm about to drink out of a tank shell. Baijiu is China's most famous alcohol. It's what everybody drinks around here. It's the favorite of government officials and grandpas and evil uncles and it doesn't matter who you are. But if you're going to sit down for a family dinner or a business dinner, you're going to be forced to drink Baijiu here in China. Now you do get different types of Baijiu. You do get very fancy, very expensive Baijiu. Uh, especially things like Mao Tai, which are very famous. I have had very expensive Baijiu before. I'm going to be honest with you, it's very difficult for me to tell the difference between very expensive Baijiu and cheap sort of 5 RMB Baijiu, like Erguo Tou, which is probably the most famous. Now, I thought I would go and show you some of the very interesting sort of extreme types of Baijiu you can get here, because, well, Baijiu is a very simple sort of a drink. If you have not seen our Conquering Southern China documentary, our TV show, it's on Amazon Prime, it's on Vimeo, and we actually go and see how corn baijiu is made. It's normally made out of sorghum, but, you know, we went to a place where there was a guy who's been making corn baijiu for sort of 25 years or something. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into a fairly posh supermarket here in Shenzhen. It's, well, it's Jasko, also known as Aeon, and it is a Japanese brand of supermarket. And I'm going to go and look and see what Baijiu is available there. Of course, you're not going to find the crazy stuff in proper supermarkets. The crazy stuff is the kind of unregulated, weird, sort of homebrew nonsense that you can find in these very sort of little side road supermarkets. And I do have some at home. And I think you're going to like them because they're very interesting. But let's go see what you can find in the average price of Baijiu, China's most popular alcohol here in a posh supermarket. So here I am at the alcohol section and of course this being Jasko, it actually has a very good alcohol section. You got imported wines and you have whiskies and you have Japanese sake and you know Korean shoju but of course you have the local baijiu so let's go take a look and see what they have on offer here. So this is what I'm talking about. This massive jug over here, 66 RMB, it's 50% alcohol and it's, uh, what is it, five liters or something? It's huge. And of course, you can get cheaper ones. This is just pure Baijiu. It's the cheap stuff if you just want to get drunk. Um, of course, you have a very wide selection here. I mean, this stuff, 15, that's like just ridiculously cheap. This will get you completely messed up. It's supposed to be for like cooking, but this one over here is the most, the most popular. Hongqing or Guotou. It's cheap as, as all chips. 13, 1380. And you can see you just got tons and tons of choice here. Like, when it comes to Baijiu, look, there's also incredibly cheap. 2650. It says Beijing or Guotou Jiu. And uh, what, it, like, I can't even see the percent. It's 46% alcohol, it's a two liter. Cost twenty six fifty, cheap. And of course, over here we have our cheaper stuff too. We'll buy a little nip flask for three eighty. Six fifty. You get the point. Oh yeah. Here we go. This is the most popular. These little things you see them everywhere. Only cost five RMB for a bottle, and just one of these is enough to get you drunk, because you know it's fifty six percent, fifty six percent alcohol. So anyway, what's the difference between that and the most expensive stuff? And oh, there's our Goto again. Not much, to be honest. Um, yeah, I mean, look at this. 45 RMB for this massive, massive thing of our Goto. I can't even get that out. This thing's huge. Well, it's half a liter, 43% alcohol. Gotta love it. China is an alcoholic stream because to get drunk here is incredibly cheap. So we're back in my apartment and I'm going to try some of these strange baijiu's for you. I've got this uh, tank shell alcohol, which is, well, no idea. It is, it is a baijiu. We'll find out what it tastes like. And I also have this hand grenade baijiu. I have a feeling they probably taste the same. <laughs> 
but we're going to find out either way china has weaponized its alcohol i also have a bunch of other alcohols here but i have tried the majority of them in videos already so i'm going to link the playlist you can go watch me drink some of those and uh yeah i'm just going to drink these two sort of weapon <laughs> alcohols and uh let's get it started i'm i'm trying to delay this you know it's actually only sort of uh what is it 8 30 in the morning and uh i usually don't drink this early so anyway let's give it a shot okay so oh wow okay yeah the top of the tank shell just pops off and uh yeah, that smells like baijiu. Baijiu, uh, for me anyway, it has this kind of rotten pineapple sort of smell very often. So let's give it a little, a little taste. Whew. It's, it's very strong. This is a 56% alcohol. I don't know what proof that is in American, but 56% uh, alcohol. It says it's a 10-year... A um, vintage, I doubt that. It's it's really terrible, and I'm gonna put that away, never to drink it again, unless of course I I am very very desperate. Okay, onto the grenade. Now the grenade's kind of funny. It has uh, what looks like a kind of a military helmet on top. It's even got the little the little star, you know, and. Uh, what looks like a little lion's head over here which is kind of cute i don't really want to break it i hope it does it. oh okay you kind of twist it okay i did break it oh well here's a little lion's head um and then this clasp which i guess opens up yeah there we go it's got like a little clasp so take off the clasp and uh now i guess it's ready to be opened by the way i want to give a quick shout out to my friend Prozzi, he's the guy who gave me this for, uh, it was either Christmas or birthday, probably Christmas, and that was a long time ago. I've been, this, is, this stuff's been sitting in my house for a year, maybe two years, because I haven't wanted to drink it. Okay, so uh, let's open it up. Okay, this one doesn't smell, this one doesn't smell as strong as the tank. The tank shell but maybe that's because my senses have been dulled let's try hoo 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 yeah that's um yeah it's it, this one is initially more harsh but uh, it doesn't have as, as bad of an aftertaste as the tank shell it does taste very similar both are by joe both are guaranteed to knock your socks off this is also 56 percent alcohol and uh, it's, could it be the same brand? I mean, I'm guessing it's the same brand because it's, yeah, it's, it's the same brand. It's the same brand and it could very, yeah, according to the bottles here anyway, it's probably the exact same alcohol, although there is a difference in the taste and smell. So maybe it's just different batches or something. Well, there we go. I've tried China's weaponized alcohol. Now guys, I must warn you, you can't just go and drink any kind of weird alcohol that you find here in China. Well, you can, but we've had some serious incidences before. Like, for instance, uh, I was having Christmas dinner with Sea Milk and Prozzi and all those guys. And I think it's Prozzi brought along some uh, snake penis alcohol. And everybody drank it. And, well, Sea Milk actually had an allergic reaction to it. I know he's not the most healthy chap in the world, he's always got some issues. But the thing is, he had an allergic reaction and it was actually quite serious. And uh, it made me, like, horribly, feel horribly ill as well. So you can't just go drink any old thing. Um, I do have some videos about some strange alcohols I've tried in the past, which you can go and take a look at. But I just wanted to wrap this up by saying, if you're in China, try out Baijiu. You know, I've never met a person who actually liked it. I've met people who've pretended to like it, but it is a harsh alcohol. It's designed just to make you drunk, really. Uh, but give it a shot. And let me know if you have in the comments what you honestly think. And don't try to show off, because I'll know you're lying. Anyway, guys, great to see you all again. Can't wait to see you in the next one. And until then, you know the drill. Stay awesome.